Welcome back to the SOLIDWORKS tutorial for the beginners. In this video, we'll talk about how to create this shape with the hollow center and also the normal cylinder shape using revolve boss slash base feature in this SOLIDWORKS. Let's get started. Press down Ctrl key and the end key on the keyboard to summon this window and create a new part. As usual, let's show all the three planes. This time, let's draw on the front planes. Now, once you get into sketch mode, let's start with drawing a center, a center rectangle. Give it some dimensions by using the smart dimensions here, or you can press the S key, which is the fast key, to summon this small menu, showing all the options available right here are all that you can get from here. So press on the smart dimensions and start giving it some values. Now once you're done with the rectangle, let's summon this small window again by pressing the S key and this time select lines to draw a straight line right here. After you're done, press the exit button to, done fin to finish drawing the straight line and now give a dimension to the line. Now set the distance of this line away from the center point of the rectangle to 50 mm. After that, we are done here. Exit the sketch by pressing the button right here and go to feature. With the sketch once selected, press revolve boss slash base button. Now click on this axis of revolutions and press on the straight line right here. Uncheck the tin feature and press the selected controls to select to highlight this to highlight this box and select the area of the rectangle right here. Now once you select that, what it will do is it will use this rectangle and revolve around this axis where we selected right here and form a cylinder. If you click OK, you will see that a cylinder is formed right away with the using this rectangle. To edit it, you can right click on revolve one right here and edit feature. Now in this feature, you can actually change the, ex the angle of revolutions, let's say 180 degrees. As you can see, after you change it, it becomes half a cylinder. Now to form that tube shape with the center is hollow, let's try and change the axis of revolutions to the line that we created separately. Let's select the line 4 here and press it, delete it and click this line right here. As you can see now it's forming or rev this rectangle is now revolving around this line right here. To form a complete circle, change this back to 360 degree. Click OK. As you can see now we have created the same shape that we have created previously in the other videos in the previous video and this is how you can create a cylinder and also a tube shape using revolve ball slash base now there is more you can do with revolve ball slash base now let's say what if you want to create a sphere now to create a sphere we will have to draw a semicircle first and then revolve around the line of this circle. Let's see how you can do that. Create new part, select part and click OK. Show all the three planes. And now draw on the front plane. Let's create a circle from the center point. Give it a dimension, pressing the S key to summon that window. Let's draw a line in the center. And after that, we are done here. Press exit. 
go back to the features and with the sketch one selected, select revolve ball slash base. This time, choose the axis of revolutions right here and uncheck the thin feature right here. Select the box of the selected controls and select one side of the semicircle. You can choose here or here, it will get the same result. Just click on once and this time you will get a 360 degree of revolutions around the axis that you have selected which is the line right here and this is how to draw a ball that is all for revolved balls and base for this video thank you for watching see you guys next in the next video